Solar power plays a major role in resolving the world's energy challenges. Silicon heterojunction cells are a growing photovoltaic technology. Let's start at the beginning. Silicon atoms are a semiconductor material. The bulk of the cell is a single crystal wafer which absorbs light and transforms it into positively and negatively charged particles that move randomly through the material. In order to collect these charges, the wafer must be highly pure as each impurity in the lattice structure dissipates its precious cargo. The surfaces of the wafer are a key element of the cell as they break the crystal structure and thus induce defects harmful to its electrical properties. Chemical treatment cleans the surface and creates a morphology optimised for light trapping. On either side, ultra-thin amorphous silicon layers are deposited using plasma-enhanced chemical vapour deposition. Intrinsic amorphous silicon passivates the surface defects caused by the broken atomic structure. Dope layers are then applied to each side, allowing only either positive or negative charges to traverse them respectively. The final layer is a transparent conductive film which helps transport charges out of the cell and enhances photon capture, giving the cell its blue colour. Using this cell architecture, there is no direct wafer metal contact. This enables higher device voltages than standard silicon technologies. Now it's just a question of extracting the charge in the most efficient way. Silver contacts are printed onto the cell to ensure optimal charge collection. The finished cells can be strung together in series to increase their total voltage. Cells must be laminated in order to function optimally in the outside world and the resultant module is then ready to withstand more than 30 years under climatic conditions. An array of modules can then produce clean, sustainable energy for generations to come and materials science and engineering makes it possible.